What's up fellow Days of Thunder fans? Before we get into today's video, I'd like to thank everybody who watched the 10 things you didn't know about Days of Thunder video uh, and the huge success that you made it. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that I also made an accompanying video that didn't seem linked properly uh, to it that is also about the Days of Thunder barn and everything you need to know about it. So check that one out as well. Now, let's get into today's video. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, and I might be, and if I am, feel free to correct me in the comments down below, but there was never any kind of anniversary or special edition release of the movie, so any extras that you would get on like a DVD or special digital releases, like deleted scenes or interviews, just don't exist. That being said, I have found an old preview of Days of Thunder that shows a few short but alternate scenes. See if you can find the new lines of dialogue in this trailer. Now forgive me, I did have to mute parts of the trailer because of the dreaded YouTube copyright, but I did not mute any new dialogue. come from it doesn't matter which end of the car goes around the corner first hold on a minute don't you think we are there's nothing i can't do with a race car you run good thank you and we'll see how you do the crowd Come up here and do it. I'll take you to a race. Yeah, I can't. You're his doctor. Alan, before you find out if you're really good, are you really lucky? You're scared. He doesn't believe you can drive anymore. I'll take your word for what a car can do. But I'm not taking anybody's word for what I can do because nobody knows. You get back in that car. So, as I leave you with the B-roll footage reel that I found, it's quite large, uh, let me take a moment and tell you guys that since you guys like the 10 things you didn't know about Days of Thunder videos so much, I'll be making a sequel to that one as well, so stay tuned and subscribe. So let me take a quick moment and point out that uh, the footage that you're watching now was not captured by CBS or ESPN or anybody else covering the races. Uh, this is from one of the 26 cameras that were tapped from uh, Panavision to film Days of Thunder from, uh, from Paramount. So this is all footage that was uh, you know, filmed by the studio and not by uh, whoever was covering the races at the time. Now this is some great footage of the abandoned airport that was supposedly just north of Fort Lauderdale where they actually filmed the crash sequence. Uh, if you don't know why they filmed it there, tune into the 10 things you didn't know about Days of Thunder video here on the channel. However, uh, this is really interesting because it's the only spot where um, they didn't use uh, an actual speedway to do uh, filming for the race cars as you see that old Chevy Monte Carlo going by there I think that's uh, that's really cool. It was just a leftover car at the time that car was only this was probably filmed in 1989 So that car was actually still being used in cup competition. The Chevy Luminas didn't come around until 1990 and the cars you're looking at are pretty well just uh, cobbled together junk from uh, Rick Hendrick Motorsport What you're looking at here is just uh, random shots from the many, many cameras they had spread out uh, across Daytona Speedway and them just trying to get the actual uh, 
uh, race footage where you saw the cars up close. Most of the guys driving these cars right now are actually like Hollywood stuntmen. And you can see that these were all old Rick Hendrick cars. Uh, see Ken Schrader's car there from the 1990 Daytona 500. It wasn't the actual car. Well, maybe it was because they were so mad at it because it's performance in the 500. They actually drove through the field twice because that car was so overpowered. It was, it was, it's actually a really great race to watch. So you see here, this isn't that Daytona. Uh, this looks like it might be uh, Wilkesboro. And then uh, automatically we just come back to um, the airport runway for that crash. And you can see on the back of the frame there, the big canister that they use uh, to flip the car. Now somebody pointed out to me in the 10 Things You Didn't Know video that uh, they filmed at more uh, tracks than just Daytona, and yes, I'm well aware of that. I was just pointing out in the video that Daytona seemed to be their favorite track to film at because that's definitely where uh, you had the most races that took place in the movie and definitely where they put the most effort into um, filming. Now this shot's weird here. The, the footage actually looks sped up and it's reversed. So it looks like the cars are turning right instead of left. And going on, just that beautiful cinematography that uh, Tony Scott always demanded. Look at some of these angles. I mean, these angles are just fantastic. This is actually a pretty nifty shot here, considering that the stunt drivers are trying to get this stunt correct and look like that it actually happened during the race. And then for some reason you've got one of Ken Schrader's cars flipped up on its side and on fire and everyone just driving by it and then... <laughs> it's like, what is going on here? You see him took out, so it looks like it took out part of the fence there and of course that fence is an actual safety fence, that's just... It's kind of rigged there by the second unit on a on a airport on an abandoned airport runway. Now, yes, I've got a lot of Days of Thunder content here on the channel. However, on the sister channel, Toy Wart Vintage Reviews, I also cover the entire Matchbox Days of Thunder line, and I also cover the Tyco slot car set. So if you're interested in old toys, uh, including Days of Thunder toys, uh, go check out that channel now. Links to it uh, will be uh, uh, put into the description below, as is the end of this video. Now, I will leave the rest of this to you guys. You guys watch this, enjoy. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think of this B-roll footage. How much of this stuff should have been in the movie? How much of this stuff have you never seen before? Uh, don't remember to like the video, uh, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and check the description below for links to Cruiser's social media and links to new Cruiser's merch. I think you guys are really going to like the new stickers. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, until then, I want you to go back out on that track and hit the pace car. You hit every other goddamn thing out there. I want you to be perfect.